Hi, I'm Sarah with the H and I'm a procrastinator. I'm sorry, I mean, this is your morning cup of motivation. Sorry, my, my bad. I, I meant I'm a procrastinator. And that's today's topic. This topic was given to me by a friend and I decided to do this as soon as she gave it to me because I felt attacked. <laughs> I asked her for advice about topics and she said procrastinators. And I'm like, how do I give advice on something that I do myself? So here we are. I mean, I failed as soon as I decided to take this job because I made like two other videos before this procrastinating video. I played a game on my phone. I turned on some music and put on a whole concert. Oh, and then, and then I decided that I needed to do a wardrobe change. So I got, I put on some, I don't know if you can see them or not, but I have these Alice in Wonderland earrings and this is a clock, you know, so that I can focus on timing because, you know, timing and procrastinating and I have a problem, guys. I have a problem. I admit it. I have a problem. So we're going to figure this out together. I am going to teach you how to not procrastinate. And whilst teaching you, hopefully y'all learn too. Now, because I'm a pro procrastinator, I did not look up how advice on how to do this. I um, got nothing for you. So we, I just Googled um, before I pressed record. So I am going to read what the Googles has to say about how not to be a procrastinator. Hold on a second. Let me put on my glasses because you know you need to see when you're reading the Googles. Um, Should have cleaned the glasses first. All right, well, we'll get to that later. Huh. Anyways, all right. Top five tips for how to avoid procrastinating. All right, guys. Tip number one, set small goals. Oftentimes the thought of completing one large task can seem overwhelming. That's true. I mean, in the day I have a kajillion things to do. So setting small tasks to do those kajillion things helps like clean the house, overwhelming. Oh my freaking gosh, the whole house needs to be cleaned. Why is it dirty again? Who keeps dirty in it? Oh, stuff, that's me. All right, all right, all right, okay. Take your time, break down the house. Start with the dishes. And then if you're like me and you're easily distracted, you'll want to see if there's dishes in any other part of the room. And while you're doing that, errand you will realize that the bed's not made so you'll go and make the bed or see that there's clothes on the floor you'll pick up the clothes off the floor and put them in the hamper and then you already knocked off one of the tasks in the bedroom you go back from the bedroom to the living room because you're heading to the kitchen and then you realize that um the cushions on the couch is not organized the way you want it to so now you're fluffing up the couch and you're organizing that and while you're organizing that you realize that there's some dust over by the tv so now you're dusting the tv small tasks are great you know set small tasks to do because technically you just cleaned like four out of however many rooms that you had by you know going in this zigzag motion to do things so you're knocking off steps so now the whole house is you know a fourth of the way clean when you just started off in the kitchen i don't know if that method works for you but that's 
how I end up doing it. All right, moving on. <laughs> Step two, organize your tasks. This point feeds into the one above. Okay, Google, so you gave me step number two, which was technically what, all right. Organize your tasks. Um, yeah, so you're cleaning your house again with that um, example. Um, you know, write down what you want to do to said house that needs to be cleaned. What, you know, details like cleaning the refrigerator or actually washing that laundry instead of just getting it off the floor. Why is it on the floor anyways? The hamper's right there. Moving on to step three. Focus your attention. That means to focus, okay? You can't be like me and just wander around the whole house trying to clean. You need to stay organized, stay in that kitchen, clean the whole thing, do those dishes, clean that refrigerator out, and get all that food that you said you was going to eat for leftovers out the refrigerator so you can actually clean all the dishes so that you're not looking for that pan that you need later when you're trying to cook. Focus. Be a better person. Remove distractions. That's step number four. And while I'm talking about step number four, I'm going to remove whatever is on my glasses because I can't see you. Can you see me? I can't see you. All right. Um, remove distractions. That means that TV that you got on in the background Turn it off because we all know what's about to happen. You're going to be sweeping the floor, going along or vacuuming or something like that. And you're watching Real Housewives or something like that. Whatever be on TV. I don't, I'm Hulu, Netflix, stuff like that. I'd be, I'd be watching the interweb shows, um, the apps and stuff. But whatever you're watching, um, something's going to happen. The housewife is going to throw a drink on somebody or somebody's going to push somebody or somebody's baby daddy done did something that you ain't know that they done did. And you're going to sit down on that couch and you're going to watch that show as you should because there's TV and spelt and you need to, you know, find out what's going on. So now you're completely distracted. The broom done fell over and just gave up on life and this house ain't getting cleaned. So turn the TV off, just turn it off because you can watch it again on one of those apps. You know, you can push pause or you can stop it and come back to it later. Look at that. I can see through. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? All right. All right. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Remove those distractions like I removed the dust from my glasses. It's amazing the things you can do when you can see, I mean, you can focus on things that you need to focus on. Um, step number five, forgive yourself. I'm assuming it's saying to forgive yourself for being easily distracted and not focusing on your task at hand. Um, you're a procrastinator. At this point in time, you probably know you're a procrastinator. You probably acknowledge this very well. And right now you're probably just accepting it. Like, hey, you know what? I am who I am. But you don't have to be. But you do have to forgive yourself for not being able to focus. You know, maybe, maybe it's a medical reason. ADHD is a thing. Maybe you got that, huh? Um, just forgive yourself for not being able to focus and just find other ways to help you focus. All right. That is what the Google say. There is a list of other ways on, let's see. I just found a list of 17 
ways on betterhelp.com. Um, it's a therapy site that is becoming very well known. This is not an advertisement. They're not paying me yet for this, so scratch that name off. Unless you guys want to pay me for this because I love to work for you. All right, so um, let's just glance at these 17 steps because I read you five and I felt like those were good, but they have 17 and I'm like, what? There's 17 steps to stop procrastinating? That's a lot. That is a lot of steps. Let me see. Rethink inner dialogue. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm like reading it and I'm still like, what? I don't know if it's just, uh, whatever. Moving on, avoid perfectionism. That's a good, that's a good one. Um, the best way to not procrastinate is to not feel like you have to be perfect with everything you do. You know, I mean, when you're cleaning your house and you're doing the dishes, you don't want food residue left on the dishes. However, comma, but comma, and I don't know. Um, you know, when you're doing other tasks like folding laundry, not all the time the creases need to be extra crisp, you know? or hanging everything doesn't have to be color coordinated. I'm not a color coordinated kind of girl. If I hang up my stuff and I throw um, my socks and whatnots in the drawer, I feel like I did a good job. Not everything be perfect, but it's not on the floor or on the laundry chair. I've done a good job. Doesn't have to be perfect, guys. Just has to be done. Um, ooh. Make an effective to-do list. To-do lists are amazing. Boy, I tell you, I got me a notebook right here. It says, get it, girl. First off, that amps me up because every time I read, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get this. I'm going to do things. I got this. I got this a couple weeks ago, and I filled out this thing with so many things that I need to to-dos. Um, and I'm actually checking off a lot of things. You make a list of stuff to do and you check it off and you feel so good every time you do it. I freaking check something off my list and I'm like, <laughs> I'm here for the celebration. Like, yeah, I did something today. I was productive. Do -do. I was productive. Do -do. <laughs> All right. Let me bring it down or else I'm not going to get this video done and then the um, procrastination video is going to be a waste. Um, all right, moving on. Effective to-do list. Make one. Do it. Um, set time goals. All right, guys. So I brought this off of not going to tell you because I am not advertising for other people. I brought one of these things. An hourglass. Got purple sand. Purple's my favorite color. Time goals. All right. So, okay. This is like an hour long. You can set a timer on your phone for however long you want to. But, you know, when I come into my office, I'll say, all right, guys, put the timer down. All right, guys, I am going to work and focus for an hour straight on videos or on organizing bills or paperwork or making phone calls, or whatever I do when I'm working. And I'll flip my little sand lot thingy timer, my barber digger, and I'm like, all right, I am in this to win this. And, you know, the first, like, 10 minutes, I'm looking back, and I'm just like, this thing's broken. Look at that. There's only five granules of sand down there. But with time goes on, I am getting lost in the work. I am so focused. I am filing paperwork. I am signing letters. I am making phone calls. I am doing videos and I'm killing it. And before I know it, the sand is like this and my time is out and or I didn't even realize that the time was out and I was productive for a couple hours without even realizing it. 
because I killed it. You know why? Because I set a time goal and then I forgot all about the time because this one, unlike the phone one, is silent. Unless I'm literally looking at it every five seconds, I'm not hearing the alarm go off. I'm not visually seeing it. Like I can see it if I want to, but once I get lost in my work, I'm good. You know, I just have to have something to tell me to focus for at least this amount of time. But once I do, guess what? Knocked out to do the to-do list. I've got the task out of the way. So, <laughs> killing it. <laughs> oh, you guys like my button? It's a hype button. Yeah, you get to get turned up whenever I do something good. That also helps. Put that on your um, list of things to do to help you not procrastinate, okay? I'm going off the list. Forget better help. Forget the Googles. I'm going to tell you what I do to help me not to procrastinate. I make the to-do list. I check the things off. I check them twice. I get color coordinated pens because if it's freaking colorful, I'm excited about it. I get things like to pump me up. I get things like to make me excited. I get creative pens to have fun with when I am doing something. So if I am in lost in paperwork, I have this guy just staring back at me and then I'm just like, ah, I hate this work. I'm can't, I'm confused. And then how can you be stressed when you got this just staring at you? Okay. How can you be stressed when you have a, can you see it? A little timer on your pen like all right just write five more words and you're done you know if you have this is my um fourth of july pen you know red white blue got little bells on it you know how can you be stressed when you got stuff like that around you know how can you not stay focused when you have stuff like that another thing i do is which is a good and bad thing i play music in the background kind of quietly um, while I'm working. This is not a viewing distraction where I am watching a show or something. This is audio. So it kind of gives my mind something to focus on and kind of keeps me settled. You know, I like hear the music and I'm like, oh yeah, that's good. But I'm also, yeah, so put on some ocean noise, some burn noises, some rain or whatever like that. Just some type of audio to just kind of give yourself something in the background. Don't give yourself something too distracting. I mean, if you're able to focus with music or a podcast, go for it. But if not, you know, if it's better if you're in the silence, be in the silence. Um, another thing uh, that you can do is to get somebody to hold you accountable like a buddy sometimes like when I'm cleaning I clean so well if I am on the phone and I'm just talking to somebody and I move so much better like sometimes people do that when they're exercising too if you're on the phone and your mouth is running all of a sudden your body is just functioning and now I'm cleaning and I'm scrubbing and I'm bleaching and sanitizing everything and I don't even realize I'm doing the work because you know I'm entertained I can't be entertained by the TV because I'm sitting down. But if my mouth is moving and I'm just talking, I can do so much. I can be so productive if I'm just talking on the phone. Or, you know what, um, trick yourself. I saw this on a video. Um, it was about, um, I think, and you know what, I'm not even going to say what I think it was about. But it was about somebody who had like a something going on, like a mental health issue and they had a friend call them and they said i don't know if it was adhd or if they were um i don't know anyways they had a friend call them and say hey i'm coming or is it cool if i come over or hey i'm coming over to see you in like an hour or whatever like that you know to hang out and the person is just like oh okay you know and then they're all stressed out and they're like oh crap my house is a mess so they hurry up and clean the house or whatever like that and then they um you know get the house all clean and they call their friend back and they're like hey 
where are you at? I thought you were coming over. You said an hour, you're not here. And the friend's just like, yeah, you remember, you told me, you know, once a week to call you or once every two weeks to call you and tell you I'm going to come over uh, just so to so that you'll clean your house. And then, you know, the friend's was like, oh, crap, I forgot, you know, but it was something that they did to help them because um, it was, like I said, it was a mental health issue and they were in a state of mind where they just kind of let their house be, um, you know, and they had trouble focusing on taking care of themselves or taking care of certain things. And they had to set up, you know, a system with a friend to help them help themselves. So that being said, sometimes we have to find ways to get around, you know, procrastination issues or issues with certain things. But you know, come up with your own game plan. Find a way for yourself to be able to do something. If you're like me and you need a button to hype you up when you complete a task or you need something, you know, silly to make you laugh, you know, while you're doing a task, do that. You know, whatever it is that you got to do to help you focus and help you not procrastinate, do it because you'll love yourself for getting stuff done you'll be so proud of yourself and it just feels good to be better <laughs> so all right guys i am done i have ended my procrastination streak for the day i'm done making videos i will edit this later than sooner because i'm gonna procrastinate as soon as i'm done with this all right so until i post this make sure you smile it confuses people.